Hi everyone, in this video I will demonstrate creating a line diagram inside of the Visio interface. So here from the Project Explorer, uh, select the project that you want to work with, and then down in the Files tab here, double click the Visio file. And uh, you'll be prompted to check out the project if it's not already checked out to you, so choose Yes. And uh, this will open this project inside of the Visio interface. There's the project editor, and that is now minimized, and I'm going to click the line diagram tab here on the bottom, and this is the page that this video will focus on today. The first thing I'm going to do is open the project editor by clicking this button, and then I'll shrink that down so we can see both interfaces at the same time. I'll go ahead and collapse this list, and then expand the room that I want to pull a product from. And in this case, we'll just select this product, drag it over, and drop it directly on the drawing page. And what you'll see here is the default shape that will drop for a product if it has a thumbnail associated with it. In this case, um, we have an image here. Um, notice that it lists the manufacturer, the model, and the component ID by default on this shape. And where the shape came from, if I click over here on the Shapes tab and expand the schematic and line shapes, this happens to be the line image shape. Um, if a product does not have a, an image associated with it, just a simple line shape will drop, which is just a little white box that will list the manufacturer, model, and component ID. I'm going to go ahead and double click this product to open the specifications for it. And uh, this is the image that drops by default on a line diagram page. That is, of course, unless you've added a large image. So there is a large image tab here, and this will be used inside of Visio versus the small thumbnail uh, if this exists. So uh, you can also generate your thumbnail from this large image so they're identical, or you could treat them as separate uh, images. And in this example, this uh, image back here is a little blurry on this uh, size Visio page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a large image here and then redrag uh, the shape over to the page. So you could look in the details library for an image, or you could go search on Google Images if you'd like uh, directly from here. I'll go ahead and click Find in Library, and this is going to go see if we have a large image in the details library, which we do. So if I copy this image, I can then close this window, and um, again, decide whether or not I want to generate a thumbnail or not. Um, if I don't do that and just paste this in here, this is now uh, going to be the image that will be used inside of Visio. So we'll go ahead and save this. And what I'm going to do is just uh, delete this from the drawing page and go back to the project editor and redrag that product over. So when you delete a shape from a page over here, uh, it just removes the Visio icon from the project editor, which indicates that it's on that page. It does not actually delete it from the project. So we'll just redrag this over and now we'll get a better looking uh, image on this. I'll now zoom out and then drag a few more products over. We'll move this over here, pull up the project editor, and we'll go ahead and pull out some speakers, for instance. In this case, I'm gonna pull over maybe uh, these two, uh, these three. We're gonna drag those, pull those over, and you can see that there are now some speaker images here on the page. And, um, you can either draw lines between these uh, or not. It's up to you. Uh, but we do have um, a shape that we built called a line connector shape that you can use uh, specifically for this page. Um, or you can always use the Visio connector tool. It's up to you. Um, you can even drag wires from your project over if you want to on this page. If you already have wires, you could certainly do that. It's not required. Um, we're not tracking input and output data on this particular page, so it's up to you if you want to um, either draw lines or, or wires between them. Um, one example here would be to use this connector tool, and when you get close to one of these items, you'll notice little connection points that are sitting around this. And you can change the spacing of those connection points, um, although it will be relative to the size of the shape itself, uh, just by right-clicking and Right down here, you can see the, the point spacing set to medium. You could set it to small point spacing or large if you want less on the image. Um, you can also get to that via the shape data window. So before I draw this connector tool, notice that I have a shape data window showing over here. If you don't have that, uh, we do recommend turning that on inside of Visio uh, via the view menu, task panes, shape data. Um, so again, with this uh, shape selected, you'll see if this expands out, you can see that you can change the point spacing here. Uh, the nice thing about the shape data window is you're able to change uh, that for multiple items at a time. So if you select all of your shapes, 
and then go to the shape data window, you could set them, say, to all be small point spacing uh, versus right clicking and do it on, on a single item basis. But uh, just to finish this example here with the connector, I'm going to get close to one of these connection points. Click, hold, drag away. When you get close to one of these, you'll see it will uh, glue to the connection point. And when you let go, uh, and go back to your pointer tool, you'll see that it drew a line between there. So you can certainly do that on this style page. If you'd like to use our shape, uh, I'll show you where it is. There is a wire shapes stencil over here, and there is a line connector shape. So unlike these other wire shapes that are in the stencil, the line connector is not linked to any particular product uh, in your project editor or in your catalog at all. We're not, you're not going to be prompted to add a wire to the project where you would be if you were to use one of these wires. So, But what you will be prompted for when you drag this over is the subcategory or the type of wire this is. And this is looking at your subcategory list. So if you say it's an audio wire, for instance, and hit OK, what that will do is just put the text audio directly on this line connector. And you'll notice our default here has just an open-ended arrow. If you want to make any changes to that, you can. It's just a line inside of Visio. You have all these line options to change. And um, if you wanted to connect this again, just bring it up close to an, uh, an object. It will snap to a connection point. You could then drag the other end and connect that wherever you want to on another um, shape. And of course, you can continue to drag over the shapes that you want to display on the style page. And when you're done, it may look something like this, showing a finished or completed line diagram. And that's how you create a line diagram page in Visio.